Good morning, guys. This is John. Your host on MGTOW is Freedom. Just got done taking care of a little bit of work. It's just another one of those days. It's still relatively early out, and I have a few minutes to do a video. Well, I got back from a walk I just took, also. You know, I love to multitask. Seems just that's the way life goes. And if you would go back and take a look at the thumbnail for this video, it's a picture of a cactus that's flowering. It's a picture I took. You know, I like flowers. I like pretty things. But I looked at that fucking cactus and I said to myself, Self, <laughs> I said, Self, that is a beautiful example of what a woman is. You know, I personally, me, I like metaphors, I like similes, I like analogies, I like ways of describing one thing by using something else as an example. You know, I love uh, taking poetic license with things. Right? I like thinking about shit, in other words. I looked at that fucking cactus. And I said, that is a woman. Now, I don't think there's a woman alive that says she's a cactus. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it. Right? What is the cactus? Well, a cactus is a plant. It's found in, uh, you know, the west and southwest of the United States. Among other places. But it's a plant that does all it can to thrive off of its limited resources. Kind of like a woman, right? Inside, right, if you can get past all those fucking prickles and thorns, right, there's a little bit of substance there, right? You can actually eat a lot of cactuses, right? In fact, tequila is made from cactus juice of the agave cactus. <clears throat> You know, but what is the cactus, especially the one that I sent a picture of? Well, it's a plant. It's not really uh, a beautiful plant, but in this case, I caught one while it was flowering. And that's a particular type of flowering cactus that has lots of really pretty buds on it. But, you know, I'm attracted to flowers. I like pretty things. Women have pretty things. There's things about them that can be pretty. And so that's, that's their attraction. Right? But looking at the picture that I used, when you look at that, you've got 5% flower. Beautiful flower. Fragrant flower. Probably would taste good if I could eat it. Right? But the rest of that cactus is painful to deal with. It's prickly, it's harsh. It's, it's not attractive to deal with, to feel, to uh, observe the consequences of handling that cactus. Right, you've got 95% prickle and thorn and 5% beauty. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth it to try and get what little pulp and juice there is out of that fucking cactus? Right? The juice you get, is it worth the squeeze, in other words? You know, that's the question. You know, women are fucking cactuses. That's all there is to it. Right, and what's the point of the flower on the cactus? Let's go down that road and explore that a little bit. The purpose of that flower is the thing, same thing a woman is, right? It's to attract what they want. It's to offer up beauty and then hope that beauty is what's focused on and not the rest of the problems. Right? Plant. Lots of flowers. No thorns not a cactus, right? If this was how women are, were, it would be something quite different, wouldn't it? 
Lots of pretty, lots of touch, lots of soft, no bark, no bite, no prick. You know, if you could get to that flower, which is what is there, right? That's the beauty. The cactus wants you focusing on the flower. It wants something. Well, it wants to be what? It wants to be pollinated. <laughs> And whoever and whatever wants to pollinate it, you know, reproduce, reproduction. Whatever tries or whoever tries has to risk getting the shit poked out of them. They, they have to risk getting hurt. They have to risk infection. They, you know, you could lose your hand. You could lose a limb. You could lose your life. In order to get to that 5% pretty flower, You've got to risk everything. What else does the cactus do? Well, in the example I'm using, the cactus talks. It convinces you, right, that even though you're going to do all the work of watering it, caring for it, protecting it, putting it in the prettiest plant in the prettiest yard it's going to tell you that you're lucky to be doing that for the cactus so when you think about women yeah they got a couple beauty spots something that attracts us to them whether it's their nice personality that they show us or or they shake their little ass they give us five percent niceness and we're supposed to aggress, uh, ignore all the rest of that cactus all of the harshness. Now as the man, you can pick that cactus up and replant it somewhere else. You can make the ground wonderful. You can work really hard. You can give that, that ground, prepare it. Make it beautiful to plant that cactus in there. You can do all of the manual labor. You can do all of the thinking and all of the generosity and you'll never get more out of that cactus than a couple of flowers and get fucking pricked and poked and risk your life. The cactus convinces men that it is worth having, that it is the valuable object, that it is irreplaceable, when in fact the cactus is stuck right there in the ground. It's only going to be what it is. It's never going to be anything other than a cactus. All it can get to be is a bigger cactus, a fatter cactus, a meaner fucking cactus. In other words, it'll become just, it, it can only be a cactus. Oh, the cactus will swear. You know, I'm a little rough around the edges. I'm a young cactus. Tell you what, you know, pull me from over here and put me on that beautiful lot right with the beautiful house next to the beautiful car with the beautiful lawn and you work your ass off for me and water me and give me miracle grow and shit and I'm gonna grow up into a, a fucking beautiful unicorn <laughs> but that cactus is only ever going to be a cactus now even if it's a beautiful cactus with lots of flowers 10% 20% 50% flowering, right? It's still a cactus. It's still going to prick you. It's still going to hurt you. It's still only ever going to be a cactus. No matter how beautiful that fucking cactus is. You're only going to ever get so much fucking juice out of that cactus. Now let's talk about women and cactuses some more. Now, these flowers are annuals. It means they come up, you have to take the seeds from them and plant new ones next year, right? But they only bloom eh, six months out of the year. That is half the time. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful fucking flowers. I love flowers. A lot of flowers uh, come up, like, uh, how about this for my European brothers, tulips. 
Over here in America, we have the daffodil also. And irises, they come up beautiful. They blossom, they bloom, they flower for like uh, two weeks out of the year. Right, they grow up, they get to a certain maturity level, they flower and are beautiful for the purposes of reproduction. And then the beauty goes away and you're stuck with a plant. Right? Much like the cactus. Let's talk about the cactus when it's done flowering. That's like a woman who hits the wall. They grow up, they get to the age of maturity, they become beautiful. And then the flower withers away and dies. And you're stuck with an ugly plant. In the case of a cactus, a spiny, thorny, dangerous plant. Where'd the beauty go? What happened? This flowering cactus talked to you and said, hey, plant me in your yard. I'll take good care of you, right? I'll be beautiful all the time. I'll give you what you want, right? The cactus can be beautiful, always deadly, right? And like everything else, it's limited in what it can give you, what it can do for you. If beauty is what attracts you to it, why settle for a fucking cactus if you want beautiful flowers? See, cactuses tend to grow in dry environments, hot, let's just say sparse desert-like environments. That's where they thrive. That's where they've, they've grown accustomed to living. That's what a cactus is. It sucks all the life out of everything around it. What do women do to us men? We talk about it all the time, right? They suck the fucking life out of you, all the resources out of you. Right? They do. You go out and you work all day long. You bust your fucking ass. Right? You come home, you take care of this fucking cactus. Right? What's interesting is, yeah, they're not beautiful after a while. The flowers fall off, right? But I've talked about this other thing that happens. All of a sudden, you notice your woman. She's getting fit and trim. She's got her hair done, doing her nails, wearing makeup again. Beautiful. The cactus starts to put on new flowers. This is your cactus in your yard. You've spent years watering and caring and tending and you go to pick a flower and you get pricked and you're like hey I thought that you were uh, supposed to put on your beauty for me and the cactus says no you don't you don't get to touch I just feel like for me I want to be beautiful for me because the other cactuses I've heard about are beautiful and I want to be beautiful and you're like oh okay so now you're gonna be beautiful for me I'm sorry you're gonna be beautiful but I really don't get any benefit from it I still have to care and water for you care for and water you, give you nutrients, work hard, tend the lawn around you, fix the house, right? And the cactus says, yeah, yeah, you married me. Now you've married a fucking cactus, right? And it's a bitch. And the cactus wants to be beautiful, what little beauty there is, but you don't get to benefit from it. And you come home one day and there's another guy watering your fucking cactus. Right? And you go, what are you doing? He says, well, I, I love this cactus. It's mine now. <laughs> and the cactus has filed papers with court. And it is no longer your lawn, your water, your house, or your car. And you go, wait a minute. How is this possible? I worked. I created all this. I built all this. And the cactus says, no, no, no. We built it. We did all this. And you're like, no, you're a fucking cactus. You've got thorns and spines and you don't do any fucking thing. Oh, I do stuff. I'm beautiful, says the cactus. We go, yeah, sometimes you can be beautiful, 
but you're also a bitch and you fucking prick and you hurt and you take a lot of effort. And